All right, what is it? It is uh, the 11th. All right, today, May 11th, 2021. Me and Sean, we're out here. We're on the Carolina Skiff. We're going out of Lynn Haven, and we're gonna go over to Fisherman's Island on the other side of the Chesapeake Bay. And uh, we're gonna go back here in the creeks and go flounder fishing. Sean went back there. After we went flounder fishing last week, Sean went back there and uh, they caught some flounders and it was uh, it was pretty good. So we're gonna go do that today and uh, we'll see how it goes. So Sean is going to put the trolling motor down. The trolling motor is completely essential here with this fishing. It's, uh, it's you know, dry land right there, but it's like six or seven feet deep right here. So this is the, the rig we're using. This is just a little bucktail with a spinner on it two foot up we have another bucktail this is a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader this water's clear enough this water's clear enough here that it ought to be if they're here they ought to be biting but uh 65.7 degrees water temperature five six feet deep and we're just gonna put out some rods and just slow troll up the side of this channel edge here Let's see what we All get right. just set the first bait in the water while i was setting it in there he is might be a we got two no, no, just one. he's close he's under a little undersized but catch one <laughs> catch one the first it's the first one minute that's pretty good it's actually gonna be really close he so might there. be <laughs> might be a keeper Chartreuse goat, a little bucktail. I had a minnow on there. Minnow got it. It's no longer there. All right, here we go. Let's get him. Oh, fuck! Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a nice one. He fell off. He tried to lift him out of the water. I still got him. <laughs> no, he jumped the fuck out. He <laughs> gone. It's all right. To go into the box for five minutes. Two keepers in the box. <laughs> I just said it. That's a keeper. Thanks, <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to go slow for you. Oh. Fuck. Jeez. Christmas. Yeah, that's a keeper there. That's like a 17, 17 and a half inch. All right. We've been fishing now for less than five minutes and three Heavy. keepers. No, oh, there's a bite. All right. Dang it. Oh. Uh, he's still, I'll, I'll bet he's still a keeper though. One. And I'll bet, I'll bet you that one is still, I'll bet you that one is still a keeper. Take a look. Sure. 16 and three quarters on that ruler. Yeah. 10 minutes of fishing, yep. we're halfway there. Yep, it's gonna be an 18 inch or something. Oh, fuck. There you go. That is our fifth keeper. Right on the ledge of that sandbar. That's a nice one. Three fish. Five fish. Ain't even been fishing an hour. Five keepers. Look at that beast from the deep right there. Solid. Solid seven and a half incher. Oh, you might want to put him on there and measure him. He might go eight, eight inches. 
Sean don't miss any of them. Look at that thing, it's the size of your hand. You know, if it wasn't for these limits, that one right there, he'll do it, fit on a fork. Here you go. Nice one. All right, that would be our number six keeper. Smoke the truck. That little bucktail. Eighteen, eighteen and a half inch flounder in the box. Need to have time. Oh, didn't get much on our camera there, but that's number seven. One more and we're done. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. That would be our limit. Good. Nothing. Nothing incredibly big or anything like that, but just for a little real quick afternoon fishing trip. Easy fishing. Caught maybe 10 all together. Eight of the 10 were keepers. I got the front of my shirt all sliding. All right, well that was fun. We are now headed back to the barn. We got a Go all the way across the Chesapeake Bay to get back to Lynn Haven, but it won't be that bad. It's never bad when you got a box full of fish. We've got our limit pretty quick. Old Sean put us right on them. Eight fish. Best part of flounder fishing is flounder eating. That's what we're going to really go do here. Got Sean whacking them up here. <laughs> Got an ice cold Budweiser. Slide right on off of them. That's all it is. Blame me. Okay, guys, so yesterday, me and Sean went flounder fishing in the afternoon. It was really good fishing. We caught some flounder real quick. And the best part about flounder fishing is flounder eating. So today, we're going to make flounder for dinner. And what we're making is these beautiful flounder rolls. These are stuffed with crab meat, and they have a, a slice of bacon on the outside. And this is very simple. What we're going to do is we're just, this is store-bought crab cake mix. We're gonna take the crab cake mix, we're going to put it on our flounder filet, and we're just going to roll it up. After we get done rolling it, we're going to take a strip of bacon, and then we're going to roll that on there. Take a toothpick, put it together. We're going to just hit these with a little bit of lemon juice. before we cook them. And then we're going to sprinkle them with Old Bay. All right, these are ready to go. We're gonna put these in the oven on broil for 25 minutes. It's gonna be low broil, 25 minutes. this deliciousness. So for plating these, what we're going to do is we are going to pick it up, pull the toothpick out. All right, so now we have all of our flounder plated. I made a hollandaise sauce from scratch. And we are going to put a smidge of hollandaise on these. 
eat all of our flounder rolls. I also have this shrimp. I have this shrimp and uh, this is a shrimp and um, a shrimp and bacon jambalaya. This is just off the charts. This is amazing. All right. Got a little cucumber salad there. This is going to be an amazing dinner. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.